Oh my god, time for a new video! <laughs> Top of the morning to ya! Hello everybody, my name is... Not Markiplier. Ladies and Fricks! Oh my god, what is with me trying to like, copy every popular YouTube? What's going on guys, Zyjik here coming at you with... A, a new video, something new, that's coming out later this year, and I gotta hurry up. I need to eat, but uh, I don't know. I guess I'm really excited. I just gotta get it all out. Just doing a lot of yelling. Anyhow, um, today, Nintendo has released a new Pokemon Direct earlier today. I had a chance to see it earlier while I was in class, and uh, could not wait to get out of class so I could share all of this with you. Don't mind me bumping the mic. Hey, it's this guy, Masuda. Junichi Masuda. Yeah, I know. I know. Who he is the producer for these titles. Oh, seriously. Right now, we at Game Freak are hard at work on the development of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon. I sure hope so. I hope it turns out better than you know. It was like another game. <coughs> Anthem. You're in so many adventures with us up until now. For the new trainers who held a Pokeball for the first time in the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu game, or the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee game, and for all those out there looking What about those who held a Pokemon from, time, like, Pokemon Red and Blue? So let's turn to the director of these games, our own Mr. Omori, to hear more. Mr. Omori, okay, no, no. I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. For Pokemon Sword you can actually get a you actually get a good look at the, the writing system. Of these games is known as the Galar region. Looks Galar cool. Is an expansive region with many environments, containing idyllic countryside and contemporary cities, fast plains, and yeah, that, craggy snow-covered. Hey, you gotta shoehorn in that ice area just before you go to Victory Road. The people and Pokemon live here. And they've worked together hey, to you develop see that the interesting industries in the writing region. There. Here in this region, you'll visit gyms with the newly discovered Pokemon you choose to be your first partner, aiming for the enviable. Yeah, look at that. I mean, just I mean, seriously, just look at that writing. I mean, we actually get a good look at that. Uh, and obviously, it's not it's not English, but that definitely Thank gives you. Nintendo uh, some creativity to uh, make so whatever writing system you want. Pokemon that could be your next partner. The chimp Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Team Grookey for the win! Pokemon is full of boundless curiosity. The rabbit Pokemon school money, which is always running about, bursting with energy. And it kind of looks like he's a precursor. He's going to be another... kind of looks like he's going to be another fire fighting type. As if we don't have plenty of those, Game Freak. As we work on the development of these games, our goal has been to create the greatest Pokemon experience yet. We're challenging ourselves to try new things while still treasuring what makes Pokemon special. So we hope you'll all be looking forward to the adventures awaiting you in the Gala region. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the the Pokemon Direct. I kind of wanted to, to bring some attention here to a couple of things. Anyhow, I mean, just, just looking at this stuff, it definitely looks like this has definitely got to be like the Midwest. Maybe kind of like the Italian country. I think that it could be more like that. It could be just Western Europe. Um, I mean, technically, I mean, if you think about it, the Unova region was more kind of like the Americas. But, uh, but yeah, I would. Yeah, now that I think of it, it's, it's definitely got to be more countryside looking places. It's definitely, you know, I mean, when I look at this, it's definitely kind of like uh, Western Europe. Definitely kind of gives me either, yeah, definitely like, uh, what is it? Like, freaking. Like out in the boonies, out in the Midwest, or even like the countryside on um, in Italy. We got to look at our very good look at our player character models, or at least the default version of them. And we've been able to kind of customize the way that they look since X and Y. Really nice addition. I mean, was a little hesitant to kind of get on that train. I you know, I mean. But, you know, it seems like every time you know, Nintendo uh, does something to change uh, something in the Pokemon games, it always seems to be an improvement here. So I'm willing to bet that this is definitely a gym. It doesn't have the Pokemon Center symbol. We're probably going to go back to the old format of having, you know, eight gyms. Or maybe, who knows, we could maybe even have more. We could have probably uh, a different 
different uh, badges we could go after instead of the traditional eight. Who knows? Um, but that's definitely, I'm willing to bet this is the Crash Gym. And I'm, I, I'm a little curious to see who the gym leader is going to be. So it appears that we got a wild Pokemon battle going on here. So I kind of have to wonder, are we going to get uh, some old Pokemon kind of like we did with... Uh, I wonder if that what was, is it, I don't know, was it X and Y that first did it where like some of the old Pokemon came back, um, you know, pre-national deck, could, I mean, I know definitely for sure, uh, Sun and Moon did that, really interesting, so I kind of, kind of looking forward to see what Pokemon we're going to get from older regions, uh, before we get the national decks. Okay, so I got a good look here of Score Bunny here, um, very interesting looking Pokemon, um, I, I, like I said, I, I think this is definitely going to be a precursor to a fire fighting type. Um, I mean, just because you can see the, what looks like bandage, uh, kind of makes me feel like it's, you know, it's a scrappy looking Pokemon, so it probably, I don't know if it puts a bandage on there, it could just be part of the body. Um, but, you know, it, it, it you know, that's supposed to emulate, uh, what appears to be a bandage, so... I would, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing its, uh, evolutionary line. And we have Sobble here, um, also really cool looking, um, it can, uh, go invisible, it appears like it can, it can turn invisible while it's in the water, so, um, may camouflage confirmed in its moveset, I don't know, we'll see. Then we got this little guy here looking here. Uh, I know exactly what starter I'm getting uh, after seeing this guy. I, I'm really curious to see what we're going to get. You know, it might be possible we might actually get uh, our first grass fighting starter. I mean, Breloom definitely uh, has taken that title for the first. I, I think, yeah, yeah definitely be the first grass fighting type, but might get to see some uh, really interesting uh, type combinations here. And AB, uh, uh, well, definitely some new moves. I, I'd like to see the, definitely like to see the new moves here. Speaking of moves, that actually reminds me, there was the Z moves um, from the Alola region, or were introduced in the Alola region. Um, I gotta wonder if we're going to be able to use Z moves or even Mega Evolutions uh, during the main portion of the game. Um, if it's anything like Sun and Moon, we're probably not going to be able to use them. Uh, or and probably any of the previously established, you know, super power-up stuff like Mega Evolutions and Z-Moves. Probably won't see that in the main, uh, the main story of the game. So we got a look at the, the Galar region here. It looks pretty interesting. Uh, we got, like, this bottom portion here. That definitely looks like it's kind of reminiscent from... Uh, the, the countryside of Italy, you see all those vineyards, or vineyards, that's, that's a vineyard, vineyards. Architecture kind of throws me for a loop here. I mean, it, it, this would definitely seem like maybe it's more, uh, Western Europe, or maybe Central, I don't know. Um, I mean, just, just looking at it, it kind of, I mean, we kind of have, we got, like, uh, I don't know what, I mean, that, or this is kind of, it seems like one of those Gothic churches. That you'd seal on, and then we got Hubby in the air in the tower or, or top area. Got that tower. Um, that's kind of yeah, it's like a castle. I wonder if the, I, I kind of wonder uh, what city that or what or what city that uh, gym might contain. And given the look here, with this, I mean this front here, um, it's probably we very likely will have another dragon type, uh, another dragon type uh, gym leader. So, any um, also with the Galar region, something that also makes me uh, really curious is what kind of evil team are we getting? Uh, be really interested to see what evil organization we're getting. Um, I mean, we've basically kind of had a bit of a reset in terms of evil teams. Um, you know, it seems like they've gotten progressively more radical as they've gone on. I mean, Team Rocket just wanted to capture Pokemon and sell them to where we got to Team Flare, where they were wanting to just like wipe out everything and uh, wipe out everybody but themselves and basically create a new world in their image. They wanted to play God. That said guys, that's pretty much all I have. I'm 
really looking forward to this game. It's it's definitely uh, it's definitely got my attention for sure. Um, and I will be looking forward toward the end of the year to uh, pick up my copy of Pokemon Sword. I don't really know if I need to get. I, I don't think you really need to get multiple games to really get the, re, uh, the true experience for this. Um, I know people have done that in the past where they get like two or three versions of the, of the specified generation, but you know, I think all I'll need to get is Pokemon Sword. Really looking forward to see what new Pokemon we're gonna get, you know, what new new stuff is coming. And like I said, that new evil team, because you know, I mean that's that's what drives the story ahead. So anyhow guys, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Thank you all very much for watching. God bless you all. See you in the next one.